Over the last couple of months, I've struck up quite a good relationship with the team over at Citizen. They've kindly let me borrow two watches previous. We looked at that Tessa and we also looked at the Ecozilla. So when they asked me if I wanted to borrow another watch for review, I immediately said yes. I don't think I was quite expecting it to come in a box like this. When I opened the cardboard box, it was like that scene from Pulp Fiction with John Travolta where they opened the briefcase. Look at this box. This is, this is incredible. It's one of those hard plastic Pelican style boxes, but it's completely covered in gold. So does the watch that's in here live up to such an opulent box? Let's take a closer look at this new limited edition Citizen. I've got one white glove on to do this unboxing because I've just spent the last 20 minutes getting all of my fingerprints off this box, but how cool is this look at that gold box just awesome packaging even got the gold handle on this is of course gold paint uh, this is probably the best looking citizen box that i have seen and it totally totally suits the watch so i'm glad that they've gone all in on this casio are, are leaning more towards their recycling boxes now but citizen have gone all in with the look of this one Let's undo the little latch here, open it up, and inside we are presented with, well, first you can see the Citizen logo there. This is a rubberized finish. And then inside we have a travel case, which I think this is the first time we've seen a Citizen that came in a travel case before. And this is no half measures, this travel case. It's a very nice textured leather. And it should be because this watch is retailing at $1,195. Well, let's see what's inside. Opening the box, or the travel case, I should say. Look how good quality this travel case is. It has the press studs on the side. What you're looking at here is the 50th anniversary Promaster Suno Chrono Racer. This watch looks so cool. The dial reminds me of the NBNF Mad One with that almost cross shape across the dial. It is a reimagining of the 1973 Citizen Challenge timer, which if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I was a huge fan of this watch as soon as i saw a version of it in once upon a time in hollywood brad pitt playing cliff booth wore this watch in the film on a bun strap and it was a real star of the show i love this bullhead design if you're not familiar with bullhead watches a bullhead refers to the fact that the chronograph pushers are at the top of the watch and typically also the crown on this watch we have an additional crown towards the five o'clock position and that actually controls the alarm pull it out to set the alarm and then you push it in to turn the alarm on and off this alarm is probably could be a little touch louder if i'm being totally honest the date is at a very interesting position between one and two o'clock i think this will probably divide opinion the most the placement of the date where the three o'clock position is we have the continuous seconds and then at the nine o'clock we have the charge indicator for the eco drive this uses the Eco Drive 210 movement. They list this as being hand assembled. Eco Drive technology is solar. It constantly charges the watch all the time. You'll never need to replace the battery, or certainly not for a very long time. The watch case is a very unusual shape. The front of the watch is a slightly domed sapphire crystal, which is framed by a gorgeous black bezel. The rest of the watch is in all gold. The top piece of the watch, which looks like it could almost be an independent pocket watch, it looks like the two sections might separate, but, but they actually don't. The lugs are also quite interesting on this watch. They're a 12 millimeter lug because this watch has a proprietary lug system. You can take this watch strap off, but it's likely that you'll only be able to replace it with watch straps that Citizen make, you certainly couldn't easily put an aftermarket band on. Because of this interesting case shape, the case measurements are also unusual. The lug to lug, which we'd have to take into account, the extra notch for the strap, would mean it's 54.4 from lug to lug. The bezel on this watch is 41.6, and the larger part of the case across the middle is 44.3, and then we have a thickness of 15.1. Because of the way that the case is shaped and the fact that the bezel is slightly slightly smaller than the rest of the watch. It does wear very well. This is it on my 7.2 inch wrist. The watch has a deployant 
clasp on the leather strap you can easily adjust it and then once it's adjusted you just have to use the butterfly deployant clasp to take the watch off and on i was surprised at how good quality the leather band is and i suppose that's quite a good job because you are stuck with it on here overall the watch is surprisingly comfortable and does wear very well the chronograph pushes at the top one starts the chronograph and this ticks five times per second almost smooth sweep similar to how we would see on a mechanical watch gives a real nice vintage look to the chronograph we stop the pusher and then reset it it flies right back or snaps back to the 12 o'clock position the dial is so distinctive looking the hands are beautifully machined with gold with a black line down the center with exception for the loom the second hand is black and red and then these sub dial hands are all in red as well really bringing that vintage racing theme back around the outside we have the tachymeter and the whole watch even though it does have a leather band that likely can't be replaced the whole watch does have a 200 meter water resistance i think this is just such a cool watch it's definitely not for everyone but i love the fact that they've experimented and made a watch like this this suno line is a line that they've had for a while in fact they've made a couple of different variations and they even have made reissue classic versions of those citizen challenge timers which also look really cool but this is definitely elevated in luxury with the gold effect over the stainless steel case the watch also features anti-reflective coating and as mentioned before a sapphire crystal there is loom on this watch and it is quite good although it does fade slightly quicker than I would have liked. This watch definitely is unique. I'm not sure if I would wear this all the time if I had it. Maybe keep it for special occasions. I don't think this would be a daily wear for me. This was very kindly lent into the show by Citizen so a big thanks to them. I'll now package it back up in that beautiful travel case and then send it on the way to the next reviewer. I'm really interested to know what you think. Would you wear this watch? Do you like this range before? This watch is coming in at $1,195 and is limited to 3,000 pieces. It's available to buy directly on Citizen's website and there's a link in the description down below. I think they've done a great job of this, but let me know in the comment section down below what you think.